Hello, everybody. This is Captain Gilby313 on Instagram. That is C A P T G I L B E313 on Instagram and Walleye Gill on YouTube. I just wanted to stop by real quick just to give you guys a brief example of how I use my uh, Minn Kota Taroba iPilot on legacy mode. So you have two different modes on your iPilot link. You got legacy mode and then you have advanced mode. Advanced will just keep, if you cut the motor on, no matter how far the wind blows or how hard the wind blows, your motor head is going to stay in one direction. It's going to keep you straight. So if the wind blow, it's not going to turn. The head won't turn. The head will just keep you going straight. And then, you know, you will just go wherever the wind blows, but the, bo but the bow of the boat will still be going forward. So legacy mode will actually compensate for the wind. So if you're going straight and the wind is starting to blow, then the, the head of the trolling motor will keep going to the right if the wind is blowing from the right. Because that way it won't push you over to your left. It'll keep compensating. And then you'll go on a straight line. And all you'll have to do is prop speed faster or slower. You won't have to turn the head left, turn the head right. Because in legacy mode, it'll turn for you. So how I use that while I'm fishing is if I catch a fish and I'm not on a contour, I'm just making a path, making this red line. These are all paths that I've taken out on Lake Erie. I caught one or two fish here, so then I want to turn around and run over that path again. I'll turn the head to this path, and you'll see a dotted line. All I'll have to do is put my Tarova on legacy mode. And that, like I said, a legacy mode, it'll keep that keep you going straight on that path. If the wind try to push you, then all you had to do is motor up, motor down. If you're going too fast, motor up, motor down. But it'll keep you right on that line and it'll help you catch more fish because everybody knows the hardest part of fishing Lake Erie or, or any other body of water that I know is locating active fish. You can see your graph. It can be lit up, but you need to locate the active fish and then you don't want to get off of that active fish. So, like I said, you just turn turn that boat around and you use this, use that Minn Kota iPilot. Use it to your advantage. Get in your garage or outside if it's a nice day and just start learning about, you know, it, Minn Kota, Hummingbird is a lot to learn. It's a lot of information, but you have to spend time. You got to spend time with the stuff that way you can get it. And for me, I'm telling you, this legacy mode of the iPilot link has been a game changer. I catch more fish faster because I put a waypoint and I'll see where I caught them at and I'll just turn around and I'll wear that spot out. Be right on top of them. Now you can do it by following a contour, but that's a whole nother video. I just want you guys to know the difference between the legacy mode and the advanced mode. The legacy mode has definitely been the game changer and it helps me out on the lake a lot because all I have to do, point it in the direction I wanted to go, the cursor will let me know the direction it's going to go, and all I got to do is motor up, prop speed up, prop speed down. That's all I have to do. So y'all take this out and add this. You know, everybody that has the uh, iPilot links or, you know, you're interested in more videos like this, just let me know. DM me on Instagram or comment in the messages on this YouTube video that I'm posting. This is my first time doing a, a, a YouTube video for fishing and boating. And I'll probably do more because people have been asking about it. And I want to help my people. I want to help, you know, the newbies. I'm not the best. But I'm still learning, and I watch YouTube, and I'll pick stuff up from other people. So, hey, you can always learn from somebody. But don't be afraid. Just get on out there and go fishing. Take a kid fishing. That's what it's been about. That's what it's going to be about the future generation. All right, y'all. Thank you. Have a good day.